All right, let's talk about Discovery Family. Yes, Discovery Family, as a channel, still exists. And right now, as of this recording, even though I don't have Discovery Family, they're in Lil's Pet Shop. And, all right, there's that. But um, there is so many problems going on. Um, because when the hub was shut down because of Margaret Losich stepping down and the lost revenue to um, toy commercials of Mattel and Lego, um, and that Discovery was owning majority of Hasbro at that later time, as Discovery Family was there, it shouldn't have been Discovery Family. It should have been Discovery Kids. Where it was in the first place, it should have been Discovery Kids. Discovery Kids is was was in the first place, and when Discovery Kids was revived, I mean not revived, but um, rebooted in uh, Latin America, kind of rebooted when they added six to eleven shows. Um, this is what Discovery Family should have been. Um, this channel is like a dying ball. Um, I remember this thing. When Discovery Family launched, they canceled every single show that isn't MLP or Rescue Bots. Willis Pet Shop got canceled because of the backlash of the Willis Pet Shop fans of the toy collectors. Because of the new ones that they're not as what they used to be. Kind of hurts because Willis Pet Shop really needed that fifth season. Um, we really wanted to see who um, Betty Baxter... Um, Blight's um, deceased mother even looked like. And that that um, she was about to tell about Mrs. Swambley about the pets. And it got cancelled. Sad. Um, not only that, but this, I know the schedule is just repetitive. Um, yes, but... <laughs> is it even needed? Like, you got Blazing Team. I, like, they still are that show? They still are the Blazing Team. They still are G.I. Joe. Um, the Scar family was promised to be family friendly. Um, G.I. Joe is all about war. <laughs> so it's Transformers. And Transformers Prime. Honestly, um, Discovery Family, when a time it changed, it should have never air Transformers Prime, in my opinion. Because Transformers Prime was yes, it was anchored to 611 demographic, but it was mature themed. Um, given the fact that they wanted to move Transformers to Cartoon Network, which was a very bad idea, because what they did to Cyberverse and R.E.D. was sadly abysmal. Saturday mornings at 6.30 a.m. was a bad idea. Um, if they wanted to move Transformers, then why didn't they move Transformers Prime? They should have moved, they should have give that some reruns of Cartoon Network, or heck, Toonami. Um... When R.A.D. was announced, um, just imagine if uh, Toonami would have promoted Transformers Prime, at least on the Darkness Rising 5 parts. It would be interesting. But they didn't. That was a sad thing. Um, another problem about the Scurry family is too much MLP from the last few years. Yes, as you can see, the Discovery Family is getting some variety. Like, I don't know why they're in Pac-Man to go see Adventures, which aired on Disney XD and then on Kids Click. It went channel hopping like miraculous. Lost Pet Shop, that series sadly got canceled after one season. <laughs> Pony Life isn't doing that great either. The way they treated Hanazuki was terrible. And the way they treated Zack Storm was just as bad. And... Like, I get it, MLP is good. I mean, I don't I don't care about MLP, but if you like it, more power to you. But by the time where Discovery Family did all these marathons of MLP, they were milking it. Like, even when the show ended on 2019, they were they were just like, still airing all these MLP reruns. And I was like, please, Discovery Family, we need something different. And I was thinking. Maybe do a marathon of Lil's Pet Shop. Maybe do a marathon of um, Pound Puppies. Strawberry Shortcake. Nope. Just MLP. Just MLP. MLP is not my cup of tea. But yeah. They aired it on like Thanksgiving. 
I think they did it on Christmas too. And, uh, hey, I hate to say this, but, uh, in Discovery Family, it was like their Teen Titans go. Um, forgive me for that, but, um, yeah. They are all these MLP marathon souls, like, like, you don't even need this. You have Netflix. Ne Hasbro doesn't even do Discovery Family anymore, say, for maybe Pony Life. And they only have, they, they focus on Netflix. They, the new Transformers series, that's, um, Bop Bots, that's gonna be on Netflix. Stretch Armstrong into Flex Fires, that's on Netflix. They have all these shows. And they don't need Discovery Family anymore. When Discovery Family um, gets replaced by a cartoon detail or an adult swim channel due to the fact of Discovery Warner Bros. thing, but I sadly doubt it. It would be interesting there. But, yeah, Discovery Family just still exists. Given that they were going to have Kiss Hello Kitty to happen during the hub, and they cancel that. Not only that, but, um, they had so many plans. Transformers was originally going to be at the hub before it moved to Cartoon Network. And Saturday mornings was bad. The Saturday morning time slot was bad. Um, I remember when Transformers Prime had, like, premieres on, like, Friday nights. And they were, they were, had, they had pretty good ratings. Yeah, not only that, but they don't need the Discovery shows. They can move those to TLC. No difference there, but they could just easily move these to TLC. I'm I'm not mad at it, but the Scurry family is just a channel that still exists. I mean, at least it's doing a bit better than Universal Kids, which Universal Kids isn't improving at all, which is sad because Universal Kids had potential to be a good channel. Anyway, guys, this is Kawhi Life Antonio signing off. Peace.